of you have been following these videos will know that um, we've been doing quite a bit of work with Cooper and, and some of the other dogs here and the Do Behave initiative is, um, has been set up especially to showcase what some of these dogs can do. So what we're going to do today is we're going to teach Cooper a new behaviour. Um, as far as we're aware he's never been taught to go into a down position. So we're going to teach him the down cue today. He's not done this before um, but those of you who have been following Cooper know that he loves to work. So the way that we're going to do it is we're going to do it using um, a technique called shaping, which is that we reward increments towards the behaviour. Um, in Cooper's case, we are going to uh, work towards going into a down position. So it's a bit like when you learn to dive, you don't just go straight into the pool and dive. You sit on the edge first um, and you, know, you make the diving position. It's exactly the same with dogs. So you're rewarding behaviours that are moving towards the, the final behaviour that you want. So we're going to do that with Cooper today and let's see how we go. It's only his second session at trying this. So we might not get a fall down today, but you might be able to see the technique and then you can try this at home. So he's going to sit first of all. So what I would do, I've got a high reward treat in my hand here. I've got some chicken, roast chicken, which he really likes. Good boy. Um, and uh, so I'm going to lure him. Use a technique called luring, which is basically just um, letting him, his nose, follow the treat. And I'm going to make a line with my hand, like an L, going straight down and across to try and sort of lure him, pull him into a down. Uh, and let's see how we get on. Okay. Yes. So what we've got there is um, he stretched his fore leg out, and so I'm rewarding that. Uh, I'm saying the word yes, which is a marker, and then I'm releasing the treat. If his bum pops up at any point, which it might do, I'm using the non-reward marker um, term, which is too bad, which just basically says that was wrong, hoops, you got it wrong. Too bad is just a, a simple term that you can use. Um, and hopefully that will make him keep his bum on the floor the next time. So let's have another go. Yes! Release the treat. Too bad! Back into a sit. Yes! Release treat. Yes. So you can see here, I'm too bad. I'm rewarding behaviours that are moving towards the down. I'm going to give him a, a, a treat there for sitting in, uh, for going into a sit. Um, and I'm, we're just moving towards that final behaviour, but it's shaping it. So he's he's staying motivated because he's getting lots of rewards along the way. Into a sit. Yes, you can see the, fore, the forearm here now starting to come out more like it into a down, so that's good. Yes, good boy. So I'm trying to get him to follow the treat and I'm pulling my hand along the floor. Okay, <laughs> okay so I need to go back a step because although he's keeping his bum on the floor now, he's not stretching back. So I need to reward the behaviour for keeping his bum on the floor and just bending down and looking at me and just keep on rewarding that. So if you find that you're trying to do something and it stops working, your dog loses interest or um, they, they, they stop understanding what you're asking, then just, you, just, you, know, you just drop back a stage. So you just reward the stage before rather than pushing on. Yes. So I'll just reward like this. Reward him for looking down. Again, using the same analogy um, of learning to dive. It's exactly the same. Yes. Good boy. The other thing with training new behaviours is you don't want to keep the trials for too long. A couple of minutes is enough. Yes. When you start. So now you can see he's keeping his bum on the floor almost all the time. So he's got that bit. And that's probably as far as we're going to get today. Um, so watch, watch the next video to see how Cooper's progressing. Yes. 